Hey y'all, it's Diane with y'all craft one in my old barn door. And I just decided that um, I'm gonna go live and I'm making, working on these Christmas books and I had somebody uh, leave a comment that they would like to see me go live while I'm making them. So I figured I would do that. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to stay live but I figured I'd just play around while I can, and um, yeah, and we'll go from there. So um, let me just click on my channel here so that I can find you guys and see what you're saying. Probably going to need to mute it. Okay. So anyways, <clears throat> I'm working on this little Christmas journal. And I have several Christmas journals I'm working on. So I needed to finish the pockets. I think I've got all of the pockets finished. Let me just look. Yeah, got all the pockets ready for stuff to go into the pockets. Hey, Selena. Hey, Sandra. How are y'all? Hey, Julie. I'm just, um, I'm just messing around, actually. <laughs> I was kind of having one of those days where everything I touch just kind of goes to pot. And I was getting real irrita irritable. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go live and play for a little while and just relax. So that, because I just kind of, you know, you ever have those days where you're just kind of feeling overwhelmed because you don't know where to start because you have so much to get done? <laughs> That's me today. Hey, Yellow Rose, how are you? What's your name? Yes, Selena, it's one of those days. <laughs> hey, Debbie, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just having one of those days, and I thought, you know what? I am going to just put everything to the side, and I'm going to work on these Christmas journals because it looks like Santa threw up in here. So um, I can't move for all the Christmas stuff. Oh, all the fun stuff, straightening up the craft room. <laughs> Sandra, I totally need to do that. If you could see my craft room right now, like I have zero room to move. It's ridiculous. <laughs> You're welcome, yellow Debbie. I just keep calling you yellow rose. <laughs> so yeah, it's just kind of one of those days. So I thought, you know what? I am going to stop stressing for a minute. Oh, and by the way, Selena, I have a package from you. I just got it on my porch. So I can't wait to open it. But I thought I would do this first and just try to relax for a minute and chill out <laughs> <clears throat> so i want to make tags and stuff to go in the pockets in this little christmas journal so i figured that's what i would do um so yeah we're just gonna start and i love this little um isn't that a super cute little card it's a little vintage christmas card well it's 1994, so not vintage yet, but it's almost there. Yes, Selena, I think I've had too much coffee. That may be one reason why I'm like a cat with my claws out. <laughs> so I'm having to drink water right now to try and wash out. <laughs> yes, Debbie, I need some zen. I need some something to just calm me. So I'm just going to start working on pockets. So I have... Um, let me just see if I can move some stuff. I printed out some of these um, that I got off Pinterest and um, different places. And I thought I would cut these up and just kind of use them to make some cute little tags. And just kind of see where it gets us. So, uh, I need some lavender oil. I don't have any. I, I hear people talking about the essential oils all the time. And I probably should have something in my studio <laughs> to help me. Because... Man, it gets rough some days. So I have all this stuff, and I think that's one thing, too. You know, you get out all your Christmas stuff, and you've got it everywhere, and it's like, okay, where to start? Like, I have all of this really cool stuff that Eve sent me. Um, Eve in Wonderland, she sent me all this really cool stuff, uh, her little Christmas pack. She has these in her shop. So I definitely want to use this stuff in here. I mean, look how pretty that is. Isn't that super cute? And it's, I mean, look at those babies. Oh my goodness. 
and it's in German. How cool is that? So I'm going to use some of this stuff in here. And I think what what I do to myself, <laughs> and I do it to myself, I get too many books going at one time, and then I'm like, oh gosh, where do I start, you know? And so I need to stop doing that. I need to maybe just do one book at a time or something. So we're just going to start making some tags. I wanted to make some cute tags out of these, so that's what we're going to start with. And I have, I have this. So I thought I would cut this and cut this and kind of add them together and see see where we go. So I'm just going to I'm going to cut probably maybe I'll just do 3 inch tags. So I'm going to cut a couple of these. Now I'm not going to have them this long, but this will give me four tags if I do. Nope, it'll give me three tags if I do the 3 inches. And then I don't want them to be eight inches long so maybe we'll do let's do five and a half inches and then the way I usually cut the tops of my tags good morning Kay how are you <laughs> Julie when you get too many journals going it's like you just start to panic and think Oh my gosh, I'm never going to get these done. So we need to stop putting so much pressure on ourselves, don't we? So the way I normally do my tags, I'm hoping that... Let me see if I can close this. I have so much stuff on my desk, it's ridiculous. I'm going to move the camera just a little. So what I do is I'll stack mine together and I put it on the two mark and then I just have a little mark over here. I usually go to the second line. That way I know, oops, and see, I just moved it. So, yep, just messed that up. Par for the course for my day, man. <laughs> then we're going to try it again. All right, and then I just flip it over so that I can get the same exact cut. And I go to the same spot at the top and the bottom. So that helps me cut my tags and get the tops even. Okay. So, now that we have tags to work, and those are not even even, look at that. Look how wonky those are. Ugh. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it is, is it full moon? Maybe it's full moon. I don't know. Okay, well, we're going to start all over. I have another sheet. Am I buffering? All right, let's try again. Gosh. I don't know how long I'm going to stay live because I might start swearing or something. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but I'll try not to. <laughs> I swear I think it's full moon. So we had my grandbaby's birthday party yesterday at Chuck E. Cheese. And can I just tell y'all, I haven't been to Chuck E. Cheese in a long time. Well, okay, this usually works for me. It's just the day, I'm telling you. So I'm going to do one piece at a time so I don't slide. And that will help it. But I haven't been to Chuck E. Cheese in a long, long time. And I am telling you what, it was like a madhouse in that place. Now I remember why I don't go there. <laughs> you could not hear yourself think. It was so loud. There were so many people in there and they had so many birthday parties going at one time but it was totally worth it because she absolutely loved it she had a ball and she looked so stinking cute in her little moana costume that i made for her so she had a good time okay let's see if we can all right those look much better so we're getting somewhere <laughs> oh no Chuck E. cheese I haven't been in years. I took my kids when they were little and swore I'd never go back. And I forgot that I swore I'd never go back. But what do you do? It's your grandbaby's birthday. That's where your daughter plans it. You can't miss the birthday. So, so I had to go. But she had a good time and that's what matters. So, All right, I'm going to cut these out because I want to use these on my tags. And I just kind of dropped these into Photoshop. And they didn't... 
I kind of did it in a hurry, so I didn't size them right, but that's okay. I just want little pieces to go on these tags, so let's see if I can get these to cut some kind of way anyway. Okay, y'all know me. I can't cut straight with scissors. So if I would have tried to cut that with scissors, I probably would have jacked it up even worse. So. <laughs> that one's kind of tiny. A lot tinier than I expected it to be. But that's okay. He'll look cute on a tag, I think. And I think what I want to do is just kind of layer some of these on tags. Hey, Robin. How are you? Oh my goodness, I hated, I hated Chuck E. Cheese. Me and my husband both, we were like, oh my gosh, it is time to go. We're staying for the opening of the gifts and for the birthday cake. And then we're getting out of here as fast as humanly possible. Because <laughs> we were both like, holy cow, I can't even hear myself think. It was crazy. But... Lyric had a good time, so that's what matters. Cannot believe she is three. She's growing up so fast. She started out little three pound, four ounce baby girl that came early. She was in the NICU for six weeks, and now she's thriving, and it's awesome. I love the little postcard look, isn't that cute? I'm right there with you, Kay. I always mess up when I try to cut with my scissors. I'm just like, you know what? Forget it. Where's the paper trimmer? <laughs> it might take me a little extra time, but at least it'll be straight. So, I probably should have cut these out before I came on live, but <clears throat> I didn't think about it, so. And I tried to make this cute little pink Santa. I don't know. I'm going to leave him that size. I may cut him down some more. But these little kids are just so stinking cute. I got um, a lot of these from the graph. I think it was, it's either the Graphics Fairy or the old design shop. They have some really cute little Christmas stuff in their sites. And it's, it's free and it's public domain stuff. So you don't have to worry about copyrights and all that good stuff. So that's why I like going to their sites because... You know, you don't have to freak out and go, oh my gosh, am I going to get in trouble for using this image? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, yes, Robin. Chuck E. Cheese is horrible. It is. Like, literally so loud in there that you can't hear yourself think. And it's just, I mean, it's fun for the kids. They love it. and They don't mind the noise. Um, but the parents, I think, struggle to, to get through it. <laughs> because... Like, I think they had eight birthday parties going in there yesterday. It was crazy. Eight different birthday parties. At the same time. So you can imagine how loud that is with all those kids. And that doesn't include just the regular customers that are sitting over on the other tables um, trying to have their dinner. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who would go there to enjoy a dinner. Um, like a family dinner or whatever. But I guess you do it for your kids. I don't know. It's crazy. Alright. So now we have our cutting done. And I think I just kind of want to layer some of these up on some of these tags. Now that's going to be too big for a tag. But we can use it um, kind of as a, maybe just a stick in a pocket or something. Yes, they do run amok, Julie. It's crazy. See, Julie, I mean, Kay, me and my husband are both introverts, too. So, I mean, I would just be happy hold up in my little craft room for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and not have to go anywhere or see anybody, you know, but that's not feasible. So, <laughs> I hold up as often as I can, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> There's this little uh, lady that works at the store right up the street from me, and they have a drive-thru, so I usually just go through the drive-thru if I need anything. 
And uh, <laughs> she said, where have you been? I haven't seen you forever. I said, girl, I've been holed up. And she said, I don't blame you. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I want to, uh, oh, hang on. My phone's doing something funny. So I'm probably jiggling y'all around a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. So I think I want to ink this because I just kind of want to, and I think I might want to put some, um, I want something behind this. So I'm just going to ink around the edge first. I think I moved my camera to where y'all can't see. I noticed in my craft with me's that I was doing the other day um, that I was at the bottom of the frame the whole time. So, sorry about that. If you guys were yelling at me, go and move your camera. Okay. So, I think I want something underneath here, but I don't know if I want it to be dictionary page. I'm thinking I have some um, coffee dyed parchment paper on here somewhere that I think I want to try and use. I have just this little box of stuff where I just kind of stuff like coffee dyed stuff and stuff that I do collages with. I just kind of stuff it down in this little box. There we go. Here's some. Okay, so I think I want to just, I like the darker coffee dyed, so I'm just going to tear some out. I think I'm going to move the dictionary page and just tear a little bit of this out. I just kind of want this to be real collagey, and I want it to be kind of towards the bottom. But before I do all of this, I want to ink the edges of this tag, even though you're not going to be able to see it very well. It'll still give it a little bit of definition. Hey, Paper Pixie. I know you tell me your name every time you come on, and I always forget it. I'm thinking it's... Oh, God. If I try to even guess, I'll get it wrong. <laughs> I think it starts with an R, but I'm not positive. Okay. People are calling me. I knew this was going to happen. Every time I try to get on and go live, my phone goes crazy. Nobody wants to talk to me until I get live on, on video. <laughs> That's how it always works. Okay. So we have that and that. And I want some eyelash trim in here somewhere. So we will put some... I think I might just do like a couple on the corners or the edges. Kind of like that. Okay, Trinity. I hear you calling me, but I can't talk to you right now. Reem. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so bad. Alright, and then with this, with the um, the parchment paper, the coffee dyed parchment paper, it doesn't like glue, any kind of glue, so you have to staple it, but I like the look of the staples, so I think that's what I'm going to do right here, is just staple this together, kind of like um, clusters, just put a little staple right there so that it holds that down, and then I want to add some more of this over here somewhere. Maybe like right here. I just want it poking out a little. So I can probably put a staple there to hold that in. And then I kind of want something down here and I want some color. What do we want? I think I want one of these little kids. 
she is adorable how cute is she I like her there so we're gonna ink the edge of this one uh oh I won't tell your boss at all Julie <laughs> You're quilting? Oh, I am totally drooling over Selena's quilts. Y'all, have y'all seen her quilts? Holy hell. Oops, sorry. Did I say that? Oh, sorry. I'm telling y'all, it's one of those days for me. I'm so sorry. Oh, anyways, Selena's quilts are awesome. <laughs> Get my glue unstopped. Hey, Melody, how are you? I bet my face is blood red right now. I can't believe I said that on video. <laughs> Too funny. Okay, we're putting this little girl right here because she's so stinking cute. Yes, yeah, Selena has gorgeous, gorgeous quilts. They're amazing. Okay. So, I like her on there. And I kind of feel like it needs something right here in the corner. But I'm not sure what I have. So, let me just play for a second and see. I actually I like this on there and I kind of like it right there <laughs> so we're just going to put it there if I get the glue to come out I'm eventually going to finish this book y'all it feels like it's taking me forever and I've got five more sitting here waiting on me to finish so I'm like stressing myself out <laughs> that's okay Kay I mean some people you know but I usually don't say stuff like that so I was like it kind of took me by surprise when it came out of my mouth I was like where did that come from <laughs> so funny but that's okay oh you know what I have some stickers maybe I'll use a sticker on here let me see if I can find them How are you, Melody? Oh, Selena. <laughs> You're stinking cute. Okay, I think I want to put a sticker down here at the bottom. Just something to add a little bit of color and a little bit of decoration. So, ooh, we have some candy stickers. Let's use some of these. Y'all have had these stickers forever. Uh, they're from Creative Memories, so that tells you how old they are. I think I just want to use like a couple of little pieces of this. Look at this. Y'all remember that Reuben candy? It was so nasty, but <laughs> we had it every single year at Christmas. Every year. Okay, so I'm going to put that one right there, and I want another little piece. I need a tiny piece. Maybe this piece. This little red and white piece here. But it was the grossest candy ever. I always hated it, but we had it every single year we had it okay and I have have this little pin here so I just want to kind of do some little dots around this candy just to kind of bring it out a little bit and make it stand out just to give it a little added decoration I guess So it doesn't look so plain. There. That looks better. What do you think? Okay, so then I just want to put something at the top here. And I'm trying to decide if I want to put a hole through it and string some ribbon. Or if I want to... I think I want to do some ribbon and a button so let me find some some ribbon i 
have this cute ribbon if I can find the roll. Found the end. I haven't found the roll. Here we go. So we can use this red ribbon. And I think what I want to do. Is go like this. And this. And then I'm going to staple it on right here. In the center. And then we're going to find a cute button to go on there. I have buttons somewhere. Okay. You still have some of these stickers? I, uh, Y'all, I have two big, huge binder notebooks full of the Creative Memory stickers. I'll show you. Well, one of them is stickers. This is one of the binders. My cousin sold this um, when it first came out. And so this is her card. None of the information is even correct anymore. But I'm telling y'all, I don't know if this is the stickers or the paper. This is the paper. Check this out. Remember these binders? Look, I have all of the little strips of paper that they sold in packs. And then the little squares. <sighs> I have so much stuff. And I rarely, I rarely remember to open this and use it. Look, the little triangles that you can use to make pockets. But I just forget to use it. Oh, look, here's some Christmas stuff. Maybe I should pull that out and use it. Let's use that. <laughs> we'll add it to the pile of Christmas stuff that I have in my craft room. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, yeah, that's just, and I have a whole nother one of these this size that's full of stickers. So, yeah, I have lots of creative memory stuff that needs to be used. Ooh, fruitcake. Oh, my gosh. I remember my mom making fruitcake. It was the nastiest thing I'd ever tasted. <laughs> oh, cool, Melody. I'm glad you got to come back to your love of crafting. Oh, I just cannot do the fruitcake. But I don't like cooked fruit. Like, I don't like pies that have cooked fruit in them. I don't like, I don't know what it is, but I just don't like any kind of cooked fruit. People think I'm crazy when I say that, but it's true. Okay, so I think I like this little present to go on top of the ribbon. That's super cute. And I think I'm going to have to put it on here with hot glue. Uh-oh, I got glue boogers on my hot glue gun. Okay. I'm going to put a lot of glue because I'm going to have to mash down the end of the ribbon. Okay, one down, probably 40 to go, but that's super cute. I like it. What do y'all think? Okay, let's go to the next one. Maybe we'll do these three, and then I'll have to probably get off of here live because I do have so much to do, and I'm probably going to have to go get the grandbaby. So, but I just thought I would play around and chit chat with my buddies for a little while and see if I couldn't get out of this funky little mood that I'm in. I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of both of these cards or tags, whatever you want to call them. So who else has uh, started on Christmas books yet? Anybody? I still have 
a fall one that I'm working on too. Well, I say it's a fall one. It's a Christmas one. Well, no. It is a holiday journal. So it has fall and Christmas in it together. It's a binder ring journal. So that's one of the next ones that I want to get finished so I can get it in my Etsy shop. So whoever gets it, they can use it if they want to for like a November and a December daily. I just figured it'd be really cool to put put it together and that way you just have one book that you do the whole holiday season in. thought it would make it a little convenient. So, all right, I think I want to do some, um, a little bit of book page on this, but I think I want a bigger piece than that. You've got three TNs going right now? Yeah, I, um, ooh, maybe I'll do music, because I have this really cool old, old, old vintage music that my sweet friend Selena sent to me. <laughs> So maybe I will tear some of this and use it on my tag. So I'm just going to rip. And I just want it to be kind of the base for whatever else is going to go on the tag. Okay, I like that, so we're going to go ahead and put that on there. I probably could have put this on with glue stick, but that's okay. See, Selena, you don't like giving out the uh, ripped or the torn papers like the music papers and stuff in your packs but this is what we do to it anyway we rip it and tear it so <laughs> it's okay if you want to do that all right i want to use one of these little girls because they're just so stinking cute she's adorable let's go ahead and ink the edges of that one That's a cool idea to do the um, gift lists and planning, Julie. That's really cool. Let me catch up on my feet. Hey, Tammy. Happy Monday. It is definitely Monday here for me. <laughs> Your craft shop doesn't have the Christmas paper out yet, Robin? Gosh, Hobby Lobby puts theirs out in like July. Oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome, Julie. I can't wait to see what you do with that. Because I have ordered some new Christmas pads and packs. And um, they came in the mail yesterday. Um, I actually have postal delivery here on Sundays, which is kind of cool. Um, like, if I get packages or whatever, he'll bring them on Sundays. And, uh, yeah, so... Uh, I will have to bring out, I'm thinking about, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm thinking about doing a live later in the week just to show y'all um, what all I got uh, in my Christmas paper packs. Oh, thank you, Julie. Hey, Teresa, how are you? I haven't seen you in a minute. Bye, Debbie. Thank you so much for coming. We so enjoyed your company. And I hope you enjoyed what little bit you got to play around with this. Alright. So, I wanted a little piece of this in behind. And I think I want some cheesecloth on this one. Because I love, love, love the look of cheesecloth. Hopefully, I think it was Barb with uh, Callie Scrapper 01, I think is her YouTube channel. 
I think she's the one that said she wanted to see a live craft with me, so hopefully she can catch it. But I'm thinking it's 12.30 here. It might be pretty early for her there. I'm not sure. Because I think she's all the way in California. So it might be a little early for her. Alright, I want something in behind. Maybe I will use this dictionary page. I love doing the layering because it just adds so much dimension to the project. And... It makes it a little easier when you're working with this, uh, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Parchment paper. Holy crap, I can't think today. Y'all. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'll be all right, I promise. Okay, so I'm going to put a staple there and a staple down here. And that way it'll make it easier to glue this down. She's so cute with her little dolly. I think she's adorable. And I think that's all I'm going to do as far as the layering goes on this. Um, because I don't want it to get so thick that it doesn't fit, fit well in a pocket. Alright. So I'm going to put hot glue on this since it's going to go over the cheesecloth just remember when you're doing hot glue if you're doing paper to paper you better stick it down quick or it won't you won't get a good catch on it now she's adorable and I have this little candy cane sticker here that I'm just dying to use on one of these tags so I think I don't know that it's going to stick to that uh, parchment paper, though. I don't know. I'm going to hold off on that. Because I think I want to take... I've got some washi tape. I think I want to put some of that on here. This one says Merry Christmas. Maybe we'll use this one. Just a little bit of washi tape. Just for a little extra something. And I just want to go right down across the bottom. And cut that little piece off. And I think I want another piece of washi tape. Like a second little piece. And I don't want it to go all the way to the edge. So we're going to pull this one up just a little. There we go. There. Now we got to figure out how we're going to top it. Robin, you can make <clears throat> you can make covers with the wallpaper, but you can also use those as pages. People who do art journaling, they love the wallpaper in their art journals because it's good thick material that they can do their mixed media work on. And um, people will sell them on their Etsy shops um, in uh, just like in lots. Like you get so many pieces for however much, so. You could check those out and see, you know, how others are selling them and, and kind of be, you know, um, competitive with them. You know, not to take their business, but just to add your stuff. Okay, Tammy, no problem. All right, so what else does she need? Because I feel like she needs something. I think I know what I want to do. I want to take a little strip of something. I have some...
scraps here. I think I took all of my... That might be cute. I wish I had something with smaller little dots, though. Let's see if I can find something in this one. I have so many pieces of scraps. That clashes. I kind of want red polka dots. But I don't know. Oh, there's some red polka dots. But I don't know if that's going to be the right color. No, I don't think so. However, I have this with the red stripes. That might work. We'll try it. Oh, I'm sorry you don't feel good, Teresa. It stinks, man. I'm telling you. Last week was a rough week for me. I just did not feel good any day of the week last week. It was horrible. And I just kind of couldn't get my mojo going and couldn't get my motivation. And so it struggled. I was struggling last week. But this week, I am determined to have a better week and a better attitude. Okay, so I think I could just use this little strip right here. So we're going to try it. And I might even use that. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I got washi tape on my scissors. Let me see how long I want it. Just about there. And then we'll trim this up. And then I want to do the thinner tags at the ends. I love that you don't have to be perfect when you're journaling, doing journals. Yeah. Something like that. Just to add a little something behind her to make her stand out a little bit more. And maybe I'll even ink the edges of this. Let's try it and see what it looks like. Hey, Nan. Hey, Maria. Welcome. I'm just playing around. Just trying to get myself in a better mood on this Monday morning. Well, actually, it's not morning anymore. It's afternoon here now. It's 1230. So, I was just kind of having a grouchy day. So, I thought, you know what? I'm going to go on live. And just play for a little while and see if I can't calm down. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put a little glue under there. And glue that down. Got a little glue coming out the side. <laughs> Bye, Sandra. Have fun doing laundry. Maybe when you get that done, you can come back and watch. If I'm not live still, you can watch the replay. Have a good day. How you doing, Maria? I think I'm going to use this little um, Perfect Christmas tag, too. Since it's here, might as well use it. Because it's cute. Let me trim that up. See, I told y'all I can't cut straight. <laughs> It's pitiful how bad I can't cut straight. That left-handed thing, I guess. I think I just don't have the patience to do it. I hear all these people talking about how they love fussy cutting and how relaxing it is. And I'm like, oh dear Lord, I despise fussy cutting. But it's because I stink at it. I can't do it good. All right. Got a little ink on him. And I think I want to put him up here. What's the matter, Ruru? Y'all hear my dog whining? <laughs> it's just like all of a sudden. I think I like it right here. What do y'all think? Does it look okay right there? Uh, 
Oh, thank you, Maria. <laughs> it's so funny because people say that to me and I forget that I have an accent. <laughs> and I actually have cleaned up my accent a lot because I worked in the corporate world in Atlanta for about 20 years and I had a boss from Michigan who gave me a really hard time about it. So I really, really had to clean up my accent to be able to work for her. So... But most, most of my customers loved my accent. Like, they would tell me, I'm, I'm just calling so I can hear your voice. Okay. I kind of don't like the way these are sticking up, so I'm just going to staple them down a little bit. And I'm probably doing too much to it, but... I want them to be able to fit well inside a pocket without having too much bulk to you know catch on the top of the pocket all right so we need something to top this tag off with what do we have okay i have some of this red organza it's cute and i think i do want to do the little hole in the top of this one and tie it through it And I never measure. I just kind of eyeball it. Well, I cut way too much ribbon for that. Oh, well. We'll use it and go on with it. Nan, are you working? God love her. Nan is always working. That woman works herself to the bone. Okay. We're going to trim these down a little bit because I got them way too long, but we can use those in clusters. Okay. I like that so far. So we have two cute little tags. What do y'all think? I like these. These are adorable. All right, we'll do this one more. One last one, and then I'm probably going to have to get off of here and go um, check to see if I have to get the baby. And I have people who are trying to call me, and um, it's hard to try and text them and say, hey, I'll call you back, because then I have to move the camera. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Maria. All right. Trying to figure out what I want to do with this one. I kind of want to make it sort of match with these. So I think I'm going to stick to the same theme. But I think I might use um, like dictionary page with this one. Let's see what it'll look like. If I can find a piece big enough. Oh, you know what? I have this super cute. Let's see if I can find it have this cool tissue paper that's got um, Christmas carols on it with music. That would be super cute. Yeah, I got this from Hobby Lobby last year, so let's see if we can use some of this. I might have to Mod Podge it on there, though. Maria, I don't, I kind of live chat sporadically. It's sometimes it's just whenever I feel like going live, and then sometimes I'll do the live sales. Um, but I'm going to start trying to go live a little more often because I do have people asking me um, to go live more. So I'm probably going to try and start, you know, doing it once or twice a week if I, if I can. My schedule is just so crazy because I do have the, um, have my grandbaby that I have to pick up from school on specific days there's really no specific day I just have to kind of wait for a text to go hey can you go get the baby so <laughs> oh Julie I hope you win the lotto I would love to win the lotto but I never remember to play the lotto so I always forget that there's a lotto <laughs> so it wouldn't do me really any good at all <laughs> Yeah, the um, lady that is works at the store up 
where I go all the time, she was talking and she said, this lottery's driving me crazy. I said, why? She's like, it's a billion dollars tonight. I was like, holy crow. So I hope somebody wins that and does something really, really good with the money. So I think I'm just going to Mod Podge this paper on here real quick. Talk about some impromptu crafting. I need to clean this lid. It's got glue all stuck in it and paint and it looks gross. Alright, so we're just going to Mod Podge this baby on. I think I want to tear this before I put it down there. Yeah, I got my fingers crossed for you, Julie. I hope you win. Hey, Nancy, how are you? I'm glad you finally caught me. <laughs> I haven't been um, I haven't been on live in a it's been a minute I guess maybe a week or so uh, I didn't feel good last week at all so it was a bit of a struggle. Big hugs, Julie. Oh, thank you. Two billion! Holy cow! Y'all wouldn't know, well, I would know what to do with $2 billion. Uh, but I would be one of those people who, okay. I've had both of my children call me while I've been live. And they never call me before now. I mean, unless I'm on doing a video. Because they're usually here. I'm sorry, Bubby. You're going to have to wait a minute. Okay. So, I kind of want to tear this, too, before this gets stuck on here real good. Because I just want the torn edges. There we go. Oh, guys. My children are not going to leave me alone. So, I'm probably going to have to go. Because I have two daughters that are sick. My grandbaby's going to the doctor today. And my son is now calling me and won't stop ringing my phone. So, um, But anyways, these are the two tags that we did. I think they're super cute. And hopefully I can do some more video on doing this book. If not, I think I'm just going to get everything made and put in the book. And then I'll come back and do a final flip through for you guys. So thank you guys for coming and talking to me this morning and cheering me up. I appreciate you so much, and I love you real, real big. And I guess I'm going to have to go now so I can take care of my children's needs. <laughs> you will. I'll come on live again. I'm going to try, try my best to start doing it more often so that I can talk with all my friends. <laughs> so, thanks, guys, and um, I'll talk to you again real soon.